Hi guys, um, my name is Heron. I am a producer here at Insider. A lot of you may know me for my food videos and my <laughs> small mouth. One of the biggest struggles that you may not know is that I eat a lot on camera um, and the lipstick or lip gloss that I put on before the video actually smears off as I'm eating and it's just not cute. So I'm on a mission to find the most long wearing, foolproof lipstick that will last me from the beginning to end of all my food shoots. So the other day, I went to Sephora to pick up five different brands with five different long wearing formulas. So on my journey to find the best liquid lipstick, I will be going down four different criteria points. Long lasting, transfer proof, dryness, and comfort. Kat Von D has long wearing lipsticks that uh, range from 42 shades, which I think is incredible. Of the five that I'm trying out for this course, this one is probably the most daring. So as I was reading the comments, um, Sephora has great review comments, by the way. Some girl uh, put on her testimonial that she vomited wearing this lipstick and after vomit, it was still on. So I am waiting for the food at my first shoot and the lipstick has already just kind of dissipated and it's sloppy. So I just ate um, a lot of cheese, a lot of cream, a lot of um, noodles on this shoot. And the lipstick literally just slid off like sludge. It might just be the shade of the lipstick, because I know Kat Von D is like, highly coveted when it comes to like long-lasting products, but I have to say I'm thoroughly disappointed. We have the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 05 Infinite Rose, and it's this peachy, shimmery shade. Out of all the products, this is the cheapest, so I hope that this actually is very long wearing because, I mean, it's a better bang for your buck, so high, high hopes for this one. Hi guys, I'm at Rebecca's Cake Pops for my first shoot of the day in Long Island. I have the Sephora lipstick on today. So just a lot of cake, a lot of frosting. Let's see if it actually holds up. I just finished eating this chocolate rose and from the look of things, the, the lip stain is still on and I think the best thing about it is this is the Sephora brand. It's like super duper cheap, but the lipstick has stayed on a lot longer than I was expecting. This is a lot of glitter, a lot of chocolate, and a lot of like different colors that can potentially ruin the lipstick, but I am super impressed at just how resilient this lipstick is, honestly. This next one is Stila, and it's the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. The color that we have is Loom Shimmer. It's like this shimmery fuchsia. My favorite review was that somebody said it lasted through chicken wings, and if it lasts through chicken wings, it lasts through them all. Transference wise, it's already gotten on my teeth, but it's super pigmented, and I don't have to use a bunch of it. Now let's go on to the moment of truth. So I just finished eating one cannoli and so far I think the only thing that um, has gotten on my lips is the powdered sugar but once that's gone, the color is still intact and there's no transfer. So I mean if it can withstand chocolate, if it can withstand fried food, if it can withstand the cream, I think we're dealing with a winner here. This color isn't, isn't budging, I'm impressed. The next one we have is YSL's Tattooage Couture Matte Stain. And I got it in shade two. It's like a blood orange, kind of orangey red lipstick color. A few people actually said that this product is not transfer proof, so that's a little concerning, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So I just finished my shoot and I just ate a butt ton of ice cream and donuts. And I just took a look at my lips and the color is like still there, but basically the only real color is like on the outer edges of my lips. So up next, we have the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. 
um, in American Woman. The color of it is something that I'm very used to, so I'm looking forward to it. The product promises that it's smudge proof and all you need is one swipe. So we'll put that to the test real soon. My favorite comment was somebody said that they ate coconut shrimp and the lipstick still stayed on. So whoever wrote that, I'm with you, girl. Um, I hope. It'll honestly do the same for me. I just applied the NARS lipstick, and for the most part, it's like very drying, and the transfer, it got all over my teeth. I purposely didn't record that because nobody wants to see that, but overall, I think pigmentation is great, and I think, I mean, there is some transfer, so let's see if this can actually hold up to all the insane amount of cheese and buffalo sauce that I'm about to indulge in. So, I just ate my weight in buffalo chicken. I don't even know what I ate. I just ate like a bunch of buffalo chicken in a wrap with a bunch of cheese and grease. And my whole mouth is on fire. But, but, my lip color is still on. Despite all that grease and hardship, it's still on and intact. And I think the, I think the grease actually gave it a moisturizing effect. So, they, they feel great. The, the opacity is still there. I'm pleasantly surprised. Nars, you did a good job. So, without further ado, my winner today is um, the Stila Loom Shimmer. The formula was overall like creamy. It lasted for a really long time. The only thing that was really lost throughout time was the shimmer, but that isn't really that important to me. And I didn't feel like a little crust at the end of the day.